hi guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to make a tiramisu dessert i'm so excited and i'm also going to be assisting dad okay actually he's going to be making his own uh, christmas cakes so today is all about baking so the first thing we need are those lady fingers which i've just had there then some nescafe coffee whipping cream mascarpone cheese and some eggs then we need the cocoa powder and sugar basically and some brandy so right now what i'm starting with that is um one and a half cup of water inside there so i'll just add uh coffee inside you can add as much coffee as you need so that you can just um make it strong so i kept like four of those tablespoons and then just stirred it in You have to ensure that the coffee is quite strong. So I'll just continue to stir it properly and you can see how strong that color is. And then I'll add three tablespoons of brandy. You can use any brandy you want. Actually for this particular video, the one that I used was Viceroy, but you can use any brandy that you feel like. So we'll just stir it properly so that the flavors can both mix. So when we are done doing this part, the next thing we're going to do, we'll take in the lady fingers. These ones I got from the current provision store because Carefor didn't have them. Most places didn't actually have the lady fingers in stock. So I got it from the current provision store and they were about 425 shillings if i'm not wrong but 400 and something shillings so i'll just take out the lady fingers and prepare them so that they, we can just dip them inside so that's how the lady finger looks like and we'll be very careful not to soak it in we just dip it inside and just remove it so just make sure you don't like put it in for a long time inside the mixture because it will get soggy and we don't want a soggy uh, tiramisu cake So we'll just line them properly. At some point you'll need to cut them so that it fits the container which you have. So at the end you'll see properly, probably I'll be breaking some of the lady fingers so that it can actually fit inside the container. So here is what it looks like right now. So you can see at the end I cut one into half so that it can actually fit so this is how it should look like on the first layer so the second step which we're going to do now i'll just uh, take six eggs but in these six eggs i'm going to only use the yolk so you can see i'm separating the yolk from the egg white and then i'll add in three quarter cup of sugar and i'll just beat that together then for this part you'll actually have to put it on on top of hot water so that you leave it for like about 10 minutes so that it can actually become more creamier so just do the double boiler method that's what i did and that's how it came out so in a separate bowl we are going to take in the mascarpone cheese The mascarpone cheese is available at 
care for it was 600 and something shillings so you can just take it out and then actually using a spatula would be the best thing but i wasn't finding it so i just used a spoon to remove everything So actually this recipe has quite a different steps which you have to do separately but then in the end you're just going to mix up everything. So again to this mixture I'm going to add uh, brandy into it. Again the three tablespoons. So then you just mix it together first and then the next thing I'm going to do I'm going to take um, the whisk and I'm going to literally blend it no whisk it <laughs> why am I saying blend it whisk it so this took quite some time I don't know why it took quite some time but at the end it came out so well I don't know if it's because of um, the tips of it but it should give you that uh, whipped consistency before you add in to anything else so once I got that consistency the second thing I did and now added in the first mixture which had the sugar and the eggs so I added it into the mascarpone and the brandy mixture and then I'll now whisk everything together So you can see how that looks like right now so we'll just start whisking it together so that we can get that good consistency so I actually went for a spatula that's why the video is just like that because I needed to get everything out from that bowl <laughs> So now we'll start whisking it in together and always make sure you do it with one direction, one consistency. So this took quite some time. I was there for a minute, let me tell you, because I literally had to get that thick consistency out of it the whipped consistency so that was what i was doing and you know you can do something else maybe listen to some music as you wait for that consistency to actually uh, get there then on this other bowl i just took the whipping cream and then now whipped it because it wasn't whipped whipped so i did it in a separate bowl and then afterwards what we're going to do we are going to mix the two together so that's how the whipping cream looks like I didn't add anything to it not even sugar or anything because it was ready in the previous mixtures so right now what we're going to do we will mix the two of them together the one which are the eggs and everything else with the whipping cream but we are going to use the folding in method so we will that's the whipping cream so we are going to add it into the mixture which had the eggs and everything else and we're just going to fold it in don't start it or anything just fold it in 
And the reason why we do the folding in method, you know, you don't want to break the consistency and you want to also trap in all the air which you can. Is it trap in or trap out? <laughs> I must have misled or something there so that's how the folding in method is done so we'll just fold it inside and that ideally is the creamy part of the tiramisu so now once it's ready I'll just start pouring it and laying it down on the first on top of the first layer so we just spread it out evenly oh that looks so nice so I tried as much as possible to just try and spread it evenly so that it can look nice and presentable and also create the second base for the other layer of lady fingers. So you can see I left some for the topmost part. So right now I'll just take out the lady fingers again, dip it inside and just lay them down. So you can just ignore my background we had just done shopping that day so the fruits were everywhere so just ignore that background <laughs> so afterwards what we're going to do we will add the remainder of uh, the cream and then just spread it evenly for the top part So I'll just spread it evenly and just ensure that every part is covered. And when we are done with uh, laying down this creamy part, we'll just cover it with some cling foil and just leave it in the refrigerator. I left it overnight so that, you know, I don't have to come later on and maybe time six hours but you can put it for like a minimum of six hours but i did it since i did it like in the evening i just put it in the refrigerator and took it out the next morning
Let's forty seven. Daddy, what are you baking? Light food. This is light. This is light on him. All those fruits. Look at the chef. <laughs> hey, sorry. Now let me ask, this is not for one cake. You're making many. Oh. into half. You can't cut everything. You can't cut even the date. I'm using my standard. Daddy, even even the date, you just have to cut them. They are not peeled. You don't have to have Daddy, that's how they came. Even this other thing, maybe they have to be removed from the seed. I'm as to quite Let me tell you, baking with my dad is usually an, a whole event. Eh? <laughs> Some ingredients which I couldn't find and it was just on my neck for it. Uh, like the walnut halves, they were not there. The peeled dates, they were not there. It was just the raw, normal ones. So anyway, he made uh, this uh, fruit cake and they came out three, three cakes in total. So there were those two which we gave my siblings. And then those one which remained for home and then you'll see like in the next cake he's going to be making a current cake and they turned out very 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 nicely that's a lot of fruit to me that's a lot of fruit but to him he's like nah no this is kidogo <laughs> but that's his best cake fruit cake So he's just placing them into the oven right now and then he's going to get on with the second cake. Come back in here. Hey. Mm. Is that what you Ah ah. What am I doing? Apple, No, that's fine. Okay. So you put it in one. Okay. Next recipe. Done. And there's still another one. So can you tell us, tell us, tell us, which cake have you just made? It is baby Jesus's, but you don't have your back. <laughs> so tell us which cake you've just made. Oh yeah, that's a nice food cake. You go to? Yeah, it's a nice food tea, four o'clock tea. Breakfast? No, 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 that's four o'clock tea. Mm -hmm. And you store it over for a period of time, mm -hmm. and leave it for a period of two years. Hey, yeah. in the freezer. If it's, it's in the freezer. In the freezer or you just you need to put it in a in a vacuum. In a vacuum uh, pan. Yeah. That's it. And you eat little pieces, okay? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll ask you eat the big chunks, okay? Just little pieces. Okay. <laughs> All right, so, so, now, so which cake are you making now? Now I want to make a that was a I like to cake now to make a current cake. 
The one with the currents, the black currents. Current, okay. Well, let me see. Let me see. Can I make the. You see? Fruitcake in a cooker. Great value fruitcake. See, you know, I'm coming with the same. Hey, hey. 40k is too big. 34? 40. 40k. Wait, 40,000 ingredients. Are you serious? What is fruit? I told you, the Nakoga Ibo. Now let me see because now let me improvise now with your scanty scanty. My what? So, guys, this is uh, the next day. I just took out the tiramisu from uh, the refrigerator and now we are going to see how it came out i'm so excited like i called my family to try it out and everybody loved it ay 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 so right now i'm just doing the dressing part so i'll take uh, the dark cocoa powder it's actually the unsweetened one don't take the sweetened one because you know you just won't get the <laughs> tiramisu tiramisu so i just took um a sieve put it inside and then just distributed it evenly onto the entire cake so that was how i was doing it and it actually came out really nicely like guys if i one day if you see me opening a hotel you better not even miss out on those recipes because where he i can throw down so that was how i was doing it i wish i had some stencils so that maybe i could write over there like on top uh merry christmas with the cacao powder but it's okay it's okay it's a first time for everything actually this was my first time making tiramisu it was literally my first time and it came out perfectly like very 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 nicely so don't get afraid to just pour that cocoa powder everywhere into the corners because at the end of the day you'll just wipe it out so just do it evenly and do not spare anything So that's me just wiping out the edges so I can have at least a good look or presentation. Gosh, can you guys see the layers inside there? Can you see the layers? Because I can see them. It was just as delicious. So guys, this is how it looks like. As in, I'm so proud of myself. It looks so yummy. Like I, I don't even know if I'll ever be buying tiramisu cakes anymore because hi, it's even better. Do you know? It's really, really looks very nice. So we'll just cut it so that you can see in between what we actually did and just have a piece of it so i just took a knife and cut it oh that looks so satisfying it looks so satisfying i'm telling you literally this cake did not even last at all
so guys finally this is how it turned out and it was so 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 yummy it was so lovely and then for dutch cakes this one's this one is the fruit cake and then that's another fruit cake and then the current cake and they all came out very very yummy so that's it guys and thank you so much for always tuning into my videos and i'll see you in the next one happy new year bye